we were continuing the story mode, and Charlotte and literally everybody else are just unable to escape the planets that they're on that Zaha's trying to destroy. So we got to find a way to get out of there. So let's continue. I have no idea what's going to happen now, but book one, chapter five, the battlefields crumble. Uh, dialogue chapter. Dialogue chapter. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Let's see. Like, I... I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, the gang that's with Whis can leave, because at the very least... Hey, King Kai? What the heck? Bro. Can you hear me? Whoa, they do not got King Kai in the... They really got King Kai in this story now, bro. What is going on here? I, I, and I'm, I'm real with you. I cannot do a King Kai voice. I am sorry. There, there's just no way I can, I, I don't have like the voice acting expertise to be able to pull something off like that. So I, I apologize in advance. All right. Anyway, well, if it isn't Goku, long time no telepathy. What's up? What's up? Do you mean you don't know? Hmm? What are you on about? You mean you haven't been watching? We asked for your help a while back, right? Oh, right. Yeah, sure. I didn't forget. I've been keeping a close eye on things. Mm-hmm. So, it must be my time to shine. What is, what is King Kai even going to do? Hmm. That's a weird way to say it. But, yeah, basically. So, can you help us out? As or as in right now? Uh, who's Goku talking to right now? Oh, right. I guess no one else but me can hear him. That must look pretty strange to everyone else. Hey, King Kai, can you make it so everyone else can hear you too? Oh dear, where are my manners? I was like, yeah, I mean, like, especially because I don't know. He's, I mean, Shao is there, it's kind of whatever, you know, Gohan, you know. Uh, was it Basil and Lavender? Sure. Whis is right there. You should probably make it so everybody can hear. There we go. Everyone should be patched in now. Whoa! What the? Why am I hearing a voice without a communicator? Who is that? Why, I'm King Kai, of course. I explained things when you came to this era. Pretty rude of you to forget. I hate King Kai so much. He's such a hypocrite. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. You see, as soon as I came to this era, I had my memories wiped by Zaha. Really? But that doesn't mean you should go forgetting something so important. Well, can't be helped, I guess. I mean, he literally just told you his memories were wiped. What could he do? <clears throat> so, as you can see, I can talk to anyone in the entire universe, no matter where they are. For real? Anyone? Anywhere? Like, I I'm sorry, also, like, I just woke up, so my voice hasn't warmed up, like, at all. So, yeah. Anyway, we're in a hurry, King Kai. Can you help us get in contact with Bulma and Jocko back on Earth? You got it. Just leave it to me. It's nice to be needed. I've been feeling pretty bored these days. Like, the only thing I can think of is, like, Bulma and Jocko use the Dragon Balls to return everybody back to Earth, but... I don't know. <sighs> Doesn't look like anything exciting is gonna happen on Earth. After, you know, you just dealt with Goku Black and... Okay. Ugh. Hmm. I wonder if this means Lord Beerus' plan to take the fight to Zaha panned out after all. That would be the most ideal outcome. Oh, it's you guys! How's everyone doing? Gohan and the older trunks are still sleeping. And Goten and the smaller trunks apparently went off somewhere to play. They don't appear to be here either. Knowing them, I suppose they'll come back once they're finished. Hercule and Boo went to the city for some food. So we asked them to pick up or to pick some things up on the way. I see. Sounds like everyone's off doing their own thing. It must be nice. No one would complain if the two of you took a, a bit of a break. You've certainly earned it. I was like, you know, like, Nail and Piccolo got them deep voices. Like, I think that's a good thing about, like, when I wake up and then immediately record afterwards, because since my voice hasn't warmed up, I can do, like, deeper voices easier. But then once my voice is a bit warmed up, I can still kind of do it, but, like, 
hitting like higher voices or higher notes or whatever is slightly easier to do. So, yeah. So long as Head and I are here, the lookout should be safe. It must be exhausting constantly being on alert here. I appreciate the thought, but Lord Beerus himself told us to stay here and be ready. Just in case. So, you know. Lord Beerus asked you? And there goes Goku. Hey! Is anywhere in, or is there anyone on the lookout? Can you hear me? Th that voice. Yep, it's us. Goku? Where are you? You're not using a communicator, are you? So why can I hear you? This must be King Kai's doing. That's right. He's lending us a hand, and that's why I'm able to talk to you. Oh, that name rings a bell. He's the guy who explained all the rules right after he transported us to this era, isn't he? You got it. Anyway, Bulma, Lord Beerus gave you a job before we left, right? Something about assurance? Sure, but... Wait. So just... Or so that means you're contacting us because there's an emergency? What's this all about? Remember what I said... Or remember what I was just saying about just in case? Lord Beerus gave us an important job. That's why we're here. I mean, I'm, again, like, it's been a while since, like, I, you know, heard all this in part 14. Like, again, like, when they take too long to update the story, obviously, you tend to forget something, so. But, yeah, please go ahead and talk to him. Let him know. Mm-hmm. Yes, you too, Bulma. I have a very important job for you two. That's right. To be perfectly candid, our attempt to take the fight to Zaha may not quite uh, go according to plan. To that end, as Lord Beerus mentioned, we'd like to have some assurance. Therefore, I have a favor to ask of you. Mm-hmm. Assurance? I don't like the sound of that. What do you want us to do? I have to imagine there's other people who could help you better. You know, stronger people? Yes, we thought about asking Hit or Piccolo. But they're warriors, so this task might not be the best suited for them. The fighter must get caught up in combat and be unable... To uh, oh, a fighter might get caught up in combat and be unable to carry out this mission. That's where you, the peanut gallery, come in. The peanut gallery, he says? That's right. You're totally unimpressive. Dang. Dang! I mean, but that's from beer, so, hey, you know what I mean? In other words, we need people who aren't on the enemy's radar and can outwit them. That's where the both of you come in. Because despite being totally unimpressive, you two have completely impressed me. If someone gets in contact with you somehow, it means our direct plan of attack was a failure. In which case, we'll need you to use the trump card we've got stashed away on Kami's lookout. It, it has... It has to be the Dragon Balls. It's the only thing it could possibly be to get everybody out at the same time. Right? So, I don't know. And that's definitely within Shenron's power. Does that mean what I think it does? Yep, the Dragon Balls. I knew it. I was like, it's the only thing that makes sense that can get them out of a situation that dire, like, all at once. And it's 100% within Shenron's power. Yeah, that makes complete sense. 100%. Next chapter, time to throw some hands. That, I, I'm not gonna lie though. That that was a dialogue chapter, okay? All the dialogue, all of it, and that's about it. The planet's gonna blow up, and if we don't, and, and I can't speak, and we don't have a lot of time, we need to save everyone who went through the hole in space time, and the Dragon Balls are our only chance. I can't believe it's come to this. Lord Beerus lost, or Lord Beerus lost, and the planets everyone uh, are on will explode i uh don't suppose you're pulling our leg afraid not it's all true damn this isn't looking good it could be better but all that matters now is making sure everyone makes it out of this alive once we've got that covered we'll have to figure out another way to find zaha and try again find zaha and try again okay got it I'll get things ready as soon as I can. Hold on a sec. What's wrong, Shallot? 
No. I don't have a problem using the Dragon Balls to get us back to Earth. In fact, that'd be a huge load off my mind. But I don't like this idea of trying to find Zaha all over again. Not when we've come this far. If we gotta go back to Earth... We need to bring that bastard back with us. I mean, yeah... What?! This has really been pissing me off. He's always off somewhere using his men like pawns. Now he's even blowing up planets. He's all, uh, he always gets to kick out his feet and enjoy the show. Every. Single. Time. I'm sick of it! That's a terrible idea, Shallot. Do you really want to fight someone that powerful on Earth? Bro. Earth has Earth them been blown up so many times in the Dragon Ball universe, bro. Frieza done destroyed it. Like Cell was capable of destroying it. Vegeta was capable of destroying it. Boo completely destroyed it. Just ultimately succeeded, right? It's no secret, bro. Like Earth the men destroyed too many times. Y'all be it's crazy to say like y'all be alright in that situation, but still. He's right. Even Lord Beerus lost. If we do something that reckless to him, who knows what he'll do? I gotta admit. I thought Shelly might say something like that. And I agree with him. What? What's there to agree with? It's obviously too dangerous. Maybe it is. But it's also better than trying to figure out where he is all over again. I... That's... Actually a good point. Don't worry about it. Even if things get bad, we'll pull through. We always do, right? That's not exactly reassuring. Hey, what about you, Whis? You agree with us, right? It's way too dangerous. I mean, Whis is literally neutral territory, so... In my opinion... I say go right ahead. Since Lord Beerus is indisposed, I'll defer to everyone else's expertise. Defer? Expertise? I can't believe what I'm hearing! <laughs> Alright! That settles it! Nothing settled! I object! Objection, I say! Let's get cracking! Bulma? Jocko? Bring everyone including Zaha back to Earth with the Dragon Balls! We're counting on you! Oh, Jesus. Everybody just shook, especially Nail. Wait, for real? You're kidding me! You really want us to go through with this? I'm not happy with it either, but we're out of time. Let's just trust Shallot and Goku and do what they asked. Oh, f fine. I'll do it, so just hold your horses. Phew, that's a bit of a load off. I'm not so sure it is. Is she even gonna make it in time? All that's left, or yeah, all that's left is to wait. Except... Oh, more... Bro, why is Salsa there, and why is second form Cell? I doubt our friends over there are going to wait quietly with us. Oh, great. Looks like we gotta take out the trash. And then we go from there, alright? I mean, I'm not gonna let Dang, like, chapter 5 was a dialogue chapter, bro. Like, we... She... Like... That, that crap was crazy, bro. Okay. Um, but let's get going, like... I'm sorry, I'm just... Whew. Like, I was not expecting, like, that much dialogue in one chapter. But that's also probably letting me know that this is probably gonna be, like, the last chapter, or at least one of the last chapters. Alright, let's get it. All the damage. Dead. One down. There you go. I took unnecessary damage, but I am here, boy. Ah. Dead. Back off again. Just the ultimate story mode unit, bro. Like, pair, like, Janema up with, like, uh, Ultra Gogeta Blue, and then maybe, like, UI Goku. And you will never lose any battle. Because you have Ultra Instinct, right, with the unique gauge that gives you automatic damage to the attack. And then you got, you know, the Blast, um, unique gauge with Gogeta. So, like, if they attack, then you have a free special move. And then you got Janema with the Strike version of that. So, it's just, uh, you will never be able to beat a team like that. In story mode. In story mode specifically. Yep. Buzz off. I'll kick you into next week. 
And down we go. All right, look, no more goons. All right, get us out of here. Damn that Zaha. All he does is send more and more of them. I freaking hate that guy. You mean like how he kept sending you months after us? Over and over and over? Shut up. I'm not trying to go down memory lane with you. All I care about is getting the hell out of here. Let's keep your little Earth buddies. Okay, that should do it. So, these are the Dragmalls of Earth. They're much smaller than the ones I'm familiar with. But Beerus sure is prudent. I'm impressed that he thought. Er, I'm impressed he thought to hide the Dragmalls here on the lookout. Apparently, they were originally hidden to prevent any of the tournament participants from abusing their power. So, from what I've gathered from my original era, there's something you need to say to summon the dragon, right? What could it have been? Wait, say what? You need to say something specific, yeah, you, you do. There's no special incantation. Shenron will respond no matter how you call him. Wait, really? So, it doesn't matter? What made you think there was a special phrase? No, I mean, that's fair. As, especially on Namek, because you have to speak in, like, the Namekian language and even... Or in order to even uh, summon, like, Perunga, right? So, yeah. That's hardly important. Just summon Shenron, now! Right. Here I go. Come out, Shenron! It's time, boy. Mm-hmm. Him. That dragon. Oh, they got a whole animation with it. Okay. This is Shenron. Mm-hmm. That's him, boy. Whoa! This is Shenron? He's way bigger than I expected, or than I imagined. Oh, say your wish. As a human being, I am not worthy. All right? To voice such an incredible being that is Shenron, okay? It would be absolutely disgraceful to voice him if I, if I were to do it, right? Like, I would not do him justice. I would not. But Loki, I kind of want to do it. So, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, it's going to be... I wonder if this will work. Let, let's see. I'll grant you any three wishes within my power. Wait, three? I thought it was just one. Nah, Dende didn't boosted him, bro. He, he didn't got the Zenkai boost, the Arts boost, everything. It is now three. I received an upgrade after a new person assumed the role of Kami on Earth. Sorry, Shenron, but we're in a hurry, so I need you to keep the chatter to a minimum. Oh, I see. I beg your pardon, Lord Piccolo. Hurry, Bulma. Make your wish. Right. Um, let's see. We need to bring back people that went with Lord Beerus. The ones who went into the portal on their own. The dogs, Zaha. Oh, that's right. I guess just saying Lord Beerus' allies would leave a lot of people unaccounted for. In that case, there's only one way to make this wish in order to include everyone. Shenron, here's my first wish. Up oh, it's time, okay. I really feel like I did Shenron, like, no justice with that voice, but I, I tried. I tried. Shaking's getting a lot stronger. Okay, everyone. Can I ask you all to stand near me? Just to be safe. What do you mean, just to be- Bro, Basil. Holy, if there's one person you do not want to question who's in your immediate vicinity, it's Whis! If there's anybody who can save you, at least save you from the destruction of the planet, it's Whis! If that man says stay next to him, I am grabbing dude's arm. B before he tells me to get off, because we all know how Whis is about people touching him. But again, I am going to be like within just centimeters of Whis if he says, like, get near me. I'm ensuring my safety. That's crazy. Like, when Basil wants to die, hey, bro, you, you do you. That's crazy. What do you mean, just to be safe? You mean they're not gonna make it in time? Knock off the whimpering. It's not gonna do any good. All we gotta do is trust them and wait it out. 
Ah, we're done for! This rock's gonna explode! Come on, Bulma. Chaco. We're counting on you guys. You gotta save us! And there it is. Which means that that planet blew up, the other ones did too. That planet is gone. Oh, we did it. <sighs> What's wrong? Shenron, can you grant our wish? Your first wish. Has been granted. However, any longer, and it might have been too late. We made it! Alright! Thank goodness. I've brought w the one named Shallot, the ones he calls his allies, as well as the one known as Zaha to this planet. Phew. I thought I was gonna ha are going to have the heart attack. Uh, I don't see Shallot and the others anywhere, though. You should be more specific and told them to, like, you know, bring them all to the lookout. That would have been smart. Hmm? You're right. I had... I had something like this happen to me, too. Oh, yeah, uh, didn't that happen? I forgot. It was on Namek, wasn't it? They're all on Earth, but they're probably wound up on different parts of it. You didn't actually specify which part of the planet to transport them to, did you? Oops. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That's not bad, though. Oh! Oh! Now it... Okay. Because... Okay, to be fair, right? That was just one wish. They still have uh, two more wishes left, right? So for the second wish, they could have said, okay, everybody that they just saved from those explosions or whatever, teleport all of them to the lookout. They could do that, right? That's definitely within um, Shenron's power. The uh, the reason why like my brain kind of expanded a little bit is because I realized since they're now all in separate areas of the planet, this is probably how they're going to encounter Broly and Chilai again. Because remember, Broly and Chilai found Paragus. They found him, and they've been gone for a long while now. So, we're kind of going, or slowly, going into Dragon Ball Super Broly territory. So, this is going to be interesting. And, I will say, if Gogeta is not going to be in, like, you know, the actual story like that, then maybe Shalit, with an E, can come back. I'm just saying. Alright, let's get it. What the? Wait, this is Earth. Yes! We made it! Hey, can everyone hear me? Is that... Goku, where are you? And where is this place? <laughs> Gohan's just smiling. They're so happy. Whoa, why would they be there? Everything happened in an instant, so I bet you're all pretty confused. But we're back on Earth. Most of you probably have no idea what's going on, so let me try to explain. Hey, nah, that I'm glad that they were actually able to escape. That's good. Dialogue chapter. Let's get it. Man, this is this is a story mode. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting it to uh, take this long. So that's why we were brought to Earth, along with Zaha. It seems like Lord Beerus lost to Zaha, but the good news is he's still alive, according to Whis. Yeah, because if Beerus was dead, then Whis would have been deactivated. Like, he, he'd be done. So, yeah. So that means all of us are alive and in one piece. Everyone's okay. That's awesome. <laughs> what a relief. That said, seems like Bulma didn't tell Shenron where on Earth to send us. So we're all a little scattered. So for now, let's all head to Kami's lookout. If Zaha's on Earth too, we can use the Dragon Radar to find the crystal, so we can figure out where exactly he is. If Zaha's on Earth. I mean, that is true. Well, I mean, Shenron did say that, you know, he brought him down here, so. But. Ah, 
It seems like Giblet realized the problem. Wait, what? Huh? What problem? As Goku mentioned, Zaha has the Omnificence Crystal. Meaning being sent to Earth is only a minor inconvenience for him. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because uh, Shenron probably did bring Zaha to Earth, but with the Omnificence Crystal, it has like a very short cooldown, so he can literally just get out of there instantly. So, yeah. He can easily whisk himself off to another planet. So what do we do? Should we use those Dragon Ball things to stop Zaha from doing that? No, we shouldn't. That would be a waste of a wish. Just leave it to me. I'm gonna sink my fist into that smug face of his if it's the last thing I do. What is this place? Is this the Earth? But the sky looks so different. I see. They used the Dragon Balls to bring me here. Hm. I can't imagine their plan ends there. This can only mean all of Lord Beerus' pawns are still alive. And they've even managed to pull one, o uh, one over on me. Even with their precious God of Destruction sealed away, they continue to resist. How infuriating. But in the end, it's all futile. After I make my way to a new planet, they'll be left to fumble around in the darkness once more. How did he find him so fast? What? Oh, wait. I, I, I saw the speech bubble. I was like, bro, what? Hey, Zaha. There's voices. I know you can hear me. King Kai's using his power so that we can have a little chat. So say something. Hello, Shallot. Hey, that's that confident look. Yes, sir, that's that boy, Shallot. <laughs> Is that it? I was hoping to get more of a reaction out of you. That would have made me almost dying back there. Or, that would have made me almost dying back there seem worth it. Don't misunderstand. I'm quite surprised. And equally livid. I was hoping to finally be rid of you pests. Well then, what is it? Since you've gone through the trouble of having King Kai help you, I assume it's important. Since we're both finally on Earth after all this time, I want to say something to you. Don't you dare run. Run? Yeah, I know you, Zaha. You are just thinking of running away to some other planet, right? You must be scared of me, aren't you? Why don't we cut the crap and settle this once and for all? Because I'm not like you. I never run. So don't start quaking in your boots and try to escape. That's all I gotta say to you. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Hmm. Dear me. Here I was wondering what was on Shallot's mind. In the end, he just wants to play childish games. What a waste of my time. All they can do is play games. Games. And nothing more. Yeah, I mean, except what he said is kind of facts. Loki, Zaha, you, you still clean. But you been running, bro. Like, I need you to throw some hand... Or, I guess in this case, throw them swords. Like, I need you to do some. Because whenever it came down to Shallot, if he had the opportunity to throw hands... He was throwing hands. Damn him. Why does thinking about what he said make me so irritated? Run away? Scared? Of the likes of him? Very well. As you wish, dear Saiyan. We'll make this planet our final battleground. I'll make you feel unfathomable depths of despair. Then, only then, will I allow you to die. Shall it? And there's that. All right. So, I mean, that that was a dialogue chapter, too. You know what I mean? I was like, there's no way the story's continuing after that. Yeah, that's definitely preview. Wow. Um, hmm. That's all the story we have for you this time. I can't believe the Dragon Balls finally made an appearance. And how amazing was Shenron? He's so much bigger than I could have dreamed. Yeah, he was okay. And I've seen a different channel that would blow your mind. Yeah, yeah. Don't rain on my parade. That was my first time seeing any kind of mystical wish-granting dragon, you know? I mean, granted, you've seen the God of Destruction, so I'm surprised you're, you know, shook about a dragon. 
That was also my first time seeing the Purunga of Earth. I must say, its form is quite different of, uh, to that of Namex. Really? I can't imagine Shannon looking any other way. Although it's been decades since the last time I saw him. Huh? You mean you two have seen Shannon before? And did you say you saw him decades ago, Ma? Yeah. Yeah, my... How does uh, future Ma? Future Ma is, uh... She should be in her 30s, right? Yeah, because uh, she's around the same age as Trunks. Yeah, she, she should be in her 30s. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's complicated. Oh, well, then again, I forgot. Like, Future Mai is still my like, uh, that shrunk down and then grew back up. So, like, even though, like, she is, like, she should be around her 30s, mentally, she's, I don't know how many decades old. This has been bugging me for a while. My, how old are you exactly? Hey, now, my age is not the issue at hand, you know? We need to get ready for the next part of the story. That's what's important. Sorry, folks. Preview's over now. We gotta focus on the next chapter. Lots to do. <laughs> she really doesn't want to answer that question, does she? I'm sure she has her reasons. In any case, we hope you all look forward to the next installment. Hey, my go nail, man. Keeping things together. But, um, that was actually very interesting. Because, one, at least Zaha's not gonna run, again, uh, run, run away again. And then, um, two, I mean, again, if we are getting to Dragon Ball Super Broly territory, I'm hoping that we can see the return of Shallot. I mean, low key, right? When Shallot came into the scene, he started off on Super Saiyan God, which, which is still fire, right? But maybe against Broly, right? We can probably get Super Saiyan Blue Shallot again with the E, right? With the E. That would be cool, or they can just make it Super Saiyan. I, I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see what happens from here on out. But again, I'm hoping that we are starting to wind down with the story because we are we are 15 parts in. That's a lot. But anyway, this was incredible. But I do want to know what you guys thought about the story mode so far in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Inakuba. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.